Hello and welcome to video 2 in the Algebra video series. In this video we are having a look at adding and subtracting algebra terms. When we are adding and subtracting algebra terms our main rule we have to keep in mind is that we can only add and subtract like terms. That's our main rule. So what are like terms again? We had a bit of a chat about like terms in the first video. Like terms have the same letter and power and we're only allowed to add and subtract terms that have the same letter and power. So let's have a look at an example. We have uh, an example here simplify 2m plus 4 plus 3m and if you look there we have uh, 2m terms and they are considered to be like terms so we're allowed to add or subtract those. Um, and so we can uh, make 2m plus 3m there 5m and the 4 isn't a like term so it just gets listed after the rest of our uh, the first part of our answer so final answer there 5m plus 4 another example here we have uh, 7a plus 4b plus 2a plus 3b let's see what uh, like terms we can pick out here you'll notice in blue there we see we have uh, a 7a and a 2a that can join together so we can make 9a out of that and there's also another pair of like terms there the b pair so we can have 4b plus 3b and make 7b out of that so our final answer 9a plus 7b we've followed the rule and we've added together uh, pairs of terms that have the same letter and power now I'll have a close look at this uh, question here because it'll uh, illustrate a fair bit about how we respond to different plus and minus signs in the middle of a question. So here we have two m terms. Uh, we have a 5m and a 2m but we have different plus and minus signs around here. So we have to decide whether we take notice of this plus sign here or this minus sign just in front of the 2m. So one way I like to have my students uh, respond to that to answer the question should we do 5m plus 2m or 5m minus 2m is to put a box around each of the terms separating them and uh, kind of uh, assigning a plus or minus uh, sign to each of those terms so we know what to do. So uh, you can see that if we put boxes around it this plus uh, in this second box um, belongs to the 3n and we'd say this minus belongs to the 2m and this plus belongs to the 4n. So that means when we're joining up the 2m terms we'd say to ourselves 5m minus 2m 5m minus 2m because that minus belongs to that 2m term. So that'll allow us to do 5m minus 2m is 3m when we have a look at the n terms you'll see in the boxes there we have a plus 3n and another plus 4n and we can join them together in a normal way and make 7n. So that's our final answer there. So the signs that come before a term belong to that term and that helps us know what to do when we're joining them up. Okay now if we have a close look at this uh, question here we have a couple of n squared terms and they're the only like terms in the whole question. So we're allowed to um, join those two together but we can't be tempted to join anything else together even though that 6 has an n next to it it's not a like term because it doesn't have the same power. So we've joined the 3n squared and the 4n squared to make 7n squared and the other two terms 6n and minus 8 just get listed after it. Don't be tempted to join them up and break any rules. And that's uh, how we add and subtract algebra terms. Thanks so much for listening and the next video will be coming along shortly. Thanks for joining us.